some interesting clutch rates and can this make 200% in today's episode. What is up guys my name is Tarande and as we have we have furious storm attacking this can you what what the hell a town hall 8 in champions let's see how he gets it oh well uh, furious storm himself is a town hall 8 uh huh uh huh <laughs> all right watch him go he play <laughs> He plays the wall breakers and he's broken the wall with the wall breakers. Alright, ignore that part, please. Broken the wall with the wall breakers. Okay, he's placed his king at the bottom. He's placed his wizards on the left in the center. Oh, he has a Pekka in the center of the village. We have a queen. No, he's a town hall 8, so he does not have the queen. But don't you worry about that. Don't you worry, child. Don't you worry, child, because he's going to three-star this town hall. It's a town hall eight in Champions League, and he's going to fucking three-star it. You see that? No. He's taking a ton shit lot of loot from this base. He's taking base one, base two, base three. <gasps> what about base four? We can't say that. We can't. You know? We can't go till base 4 because oh the town God. hall <laughs> because we have only 3 stars 1, 2, 3 and why not 4 look at his wizards panicking knocking on the door his P.E.K.K.A squishing the wall I don't know if his units will fall the cannon shooting on the P.E.K.K.A and then it's time for a paradox 38 seconds remaining and he scratched the king using his iron fist ability smashing in the wall breaking the wizard tower that was under construction a small bomb tries to make some slight damage to the barbarians and the barbarians are just squishing through that wall along with the pekka one shot one wall down last goal last builders are left let's fast forward this three two one total damage achieved by furious storm that's how he reached champions and my god, he must be really lucky. A little bit of luck and uh, <coughs> sheer... Shut up. A little bit of luck and sheer luck can help you reach the masters. You can't just shut up me. <laughs> oh, just shut up. I'm just trying to shut you up. Okay. Uh, let's focus on the next one. Oh, the next raid is by my personal favorite player, Cool Devil Shaz. <laughs> You see, Cool Devil Shaz has brought his army and he wants to three star this base. But Cool Devil Shaz is as cool as a cucumber, but he's only a town hall nine. So <laughs> let's. Uh, cucumber. <laughs> cucumber. He has a cucumber as well. <laughs> okay. So. Um, I doubt he does. The multi targeting in for targeting on the king, the queen moving towards the right. Will he make it till the town hall? The cannon's doing some serious work on the king. Oh, under raid spell. He's placed his units under raid spell. The king moving in. And he's lacking some jump spell. So he's relying totally on the sheer power of his unit. The king's health looking terribly low. He'll take out this high hit point structure. He moves towards the town hall. The king is down. There are just a few barbarians remaining on the town hall. The expo has already locked on to those barbarians. The town hall, the things are not looking good. But watch this clutch raid as the town hall health goes down. The expo retargeting the golem. And few barbarians doing some awesome work on the town hall. Here comes Fatkaz. Fatkaz, come on, Fatkaz. Fatkade. Fatkade town hall. Come on, Fatkade. Oh my god. The town hall is just 1% health. Just a few couple of more hits. Oh, and the town hall is down. And it's such a clutch raid for Cool Devil Cross. The queen still having a special ability already passed way beyond 50%. It's 60% for Cool Devil Cross. He's made it almost to starring this base in a Masters League. The queen serving some serious damage using the Royal Cloak ability anytime. Now, there she goes. Smashing the royal chamber 
the queen goes down and so does this raid. And the final moment arises. Tyrande's defense for the day. Attacker name is uh, or something. I don't know. If you all know this name, just let me know in the comments below. Um, yes, he's using Valkyries for this attack. Level one Valkyries. What's a Valkyrie? Valkyrie is a troop that damages the area of the building or damages. Damn! Four. There goes the giant bomb taking out some Valkyries, but it doesn't affect much. The perfect placement of the jump spell has led to the troops to move inside the core of the base. My skeleton traps popping out, trying to scare these troops. And there goes Queen taking down the gold storage, moving towards the town hall. This is certainly not looking good for Tarande. He's the warrior of the night and this attack is in the morning. So he's losing his pathetic powers. There goes the wizard taking down the test line, one shot, and the X-Bow is targeting on the golem, not doing damage at all. The queen is having his royal cloak ability as well as the king. The golem is stuck on the cannon, the king is smashing against Analytic. There goes the queen's ability on the top, and the cannon goes down on the bottom. The queen has finally used the ability, and the king has finally popped up his iron fist. The wizard smashing through a wall, but it doesn't matter because the golem is taking coverage for all the troops. The cannon retargeting the king. There goes a giant bomb, but the question is, is there enough time to get this raid a complete 3 star? Well, he did a good choice by placing his clan castle on the bottom, but his clan castle is moving towards the right. And I have still one defensive structure left on top. Yes, that's right, that's an archer tower. Yes, it's taken the Archer Tower. 20 seconds remaining on the raid. Let's fast forward this till the last moment. Going last Wizard Tower is left. 9, 8 seconds left. Things not looking good. It's going to be really, really clutch, guys. 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1. Wizard has left his immolation. The Wizard's immolation is in the air. He's finally released it. And no, it's just 99% for this.